legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. Okay, we're videotaping. Uh, I'm doing this for Ed. This is our Troop 104's wrap. This is the first one that's coming across the first uh, ground to cross over to the first lake. Whatever. And uh, we have three wrap areas already. One, one at the start. One has to get done. One start came out They're all ready. Okay, you got one team ahead of you. You got a lot. They're hard team to break. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta take it. You gotta take it. You gotta take it. I know. It looks like a match. Yeah. Like a match. It's our group number two. I don't know. Our third, uh, two other groups, I don't think. Oh, there's one still suffering out there. I mean, come on, that is a brilliant analogy. Need a play-by-play, play, Eddie. Give me a play-by-play. Play. All right, check this out. This is the drama after the action movie. Drama, the drama. This is a heavy race for uh, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th place. So first place went to Troop 113, was it? I believe so. And then second place went to the Troop 104 with Team Brian, Derek, and... Clay. Clay. And now, as you can plainly see, take a look at our right. We got another starting off. Without a pole. Without a pole. It's sad. It's sad. And now, uh, let's see. Where's the boat that had just the plank? Oh, right. That's our team. <laughs> Where are they? Just a two by, wait, no, it was a uh, plywood. Plywood. Just a sheet of plywood. I think the plywood's gone now. I think the plywood, wait, the plywood. Oh, there it is, they're dragging there, the plywood. I see it, they're dragging the plywood. Look, that other team got, they're getting pulled in. The wind got them and pulled them all across the lake. Man. Oh, that, by the way, that team way over there in the distance, they've been <laughs> in the middle of the lake for the past several minutes. <laughs> And only now. And uh -oh, now here we go. Drama. Oh, no, the horror. The horror. <laughs> Do it. Make it. <laughs> Save Grandma. <laughs> All right. This is awesome. The, the Just the Plywood team has passed all the other boats. They're now known as the Plywood team. <laughs> that is hilarious. And they actually started out with big blue the cylinders and all kinds of 
cool floaties and it just all fell off. <laughs> There's just this battle toward it. It's going to take them the rest of the day to pick up all their pieces. <laughs> just barely finished. They swam the whole way. Oh, look, drama. Oh, they're flat. Please, let us finish. Help us all. Come on, Troop 104. The, the guys in the blue cylinders are our team, right? Yep. Oh. And they're still apart, too. Yeah, but a lot later in the race. I wonder. Oh, here comes the plywood team into the finish line. Hey. Okay, go. You're on camera. Watch All right, that. this is the uh, plywood team, now known as the plywood team. You you're seem to be missing a, a player. What happened to uh, Mr. He Zimmer? Went back on the camp. <laughs> we, uh, he's around. He's right. If you look, he's right over there, in the middle of the lake. Okay, he's in the middle of the lake. All right, we got him. <laughs> yes, we got him. Or used to be. All right. So tell us about the uh, the the last lake here. Seemed to be you made up a lot of ground there. How do you oh, yes. explain that? Well, all of them were all having trouble over there with the poles. And we just decided to just kick. to swim with it and kick. <laughs> All right. Just kick. See? All right. So you did that. Pull it off. Any tales from your perspective about the beginning of the race? Yes. Yeah, Never, <laughs> Never use plywood. Never use plywood. Right. Oh, we still beat you. Out, guys. We still beat you. <laughs> All right. This is an interview with the winner of the trophy for the first annual. Raftery. 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 Which is like a district campery, except we did a raftery with it. He got this award for participation. His raft came in, uh, what do you say, 12th place? Uh, somewhere around that. I to, um, probably earlier than that, maybe 8 or 9. Ooh, that's right. He did pull ahead in front of all those guys. That right was at the end, amazing. that's right. Uh, yeah. Do you uh, accredit uh, any... Uh, do credit to your I'm team? Or? Yes, because without the two, well, uh, me and Trevor probably wouldn't have been able to make it across the first lake, so. <laughs> uh, anything to say about uh, the beginning of the race, since um, you were there then? Well, my design was uh, terribly, terribly flawed. Because <laughs> of, uh, as you can see over there, um, the pool noodles and duct tape did not work very well it. at all. There it is, laying crushed on the ground. So, uh, did you have any fears that you would be uh, last? Yeah, we, we were uh, thinking that we would be last. But we didn't give up. No, we, didn't we didn't give up. Last. Never give up. Never surrender. Hey. And uh, when did you feel that it was uh, hopeless or pointless and then strove through it to the end? Uh, about the Noodle. point where uh, we hit the first dock <laughs> in the middle of the first lake. So, <laughs> it's my, to my understanding, the uh, side barrels came off first, ben and the then the noodles. But um, weren't, uh, wasn't the wrap turned upside down first before the noodles came off? Uh, no, it was right side up. That was Trevor's doing. Trevor tipped it over? Yeah, Trevor. Hey, hey Trevor. Trevor, yeah, and you know, I actually predicted that at one point, did I not? You did. And he won the uh, the pool for uh, predicting the demise, early demise of that particular rat. But I was wrong in thinking that it would be quickly destroyed. In fact, it went on to win. Da -da -da -da, participation. All right, they finished. Yes. And their name changed from the That's right. Ninja Patrol to the Plywood Patrol. Uh, Wait, plywood. The joke was that, that since it was, well, if you see, we are going to change our patrol name. And there's the piece of plywood that finished. Yes. Next year we're going to use the whole, the whole new design. All right. Barrels, foam, beach chairs, and crowns. Well, the joke was that, uh, they were being ninjas by disguising their true raft with all that foam and stuff. And then in reality, it all stripped away to reveal their true raft. 
All right, let's go over here and take a look at the trophy for the, trophy. the real prize winner. Our, our patrol that had the uh, beautiful uh, orange wrap. We call it a pop. They might do sport fishes. They actually only got second place in the actual race, but because their design was better than the first place winners, they managed to get the best overall. That's right, best overall, first place, annual rapidly, rap rapidly. And then this TRP. Or I mean, second place. The red one's the second place. Second place in the race. And the white one is first place overall. White third. Team white. No, third is the adult for the for being pretty. Evaluation. Evaluation. Second place in the actual race. Awesome. And good night.